modern civilization will actually come to an end in a few hundred years. At the end of the world, there'll be Islam against atheism. When we've got to the point of ruining the world, it's time for our species to die. Well, it will all end just as the things that we do. ends in 4,600 million years' time, when our planet goes nova. We're all going to die soon, innit? If it happens in 2012, it happens. There's nothing we can do to stop it. We're not out of here by then, we've bloody had it. It really is the end of mankind. The, the end of mankind has already been and gone. I've never thought of it, to be honest. Uh, I think we're already there, aren't we? We're already at the end of the world. It's... I, I don't think about the end of the world. How do you think the world will end? There are various different ways. You can have it so that it's like an asteroid. A huge, massive asteroid comes down and hits the Earth. We've been hit by large objects, uh, meteors of various kinds. We think possibly the, um, the dinosaurs were made extinct by such an event. Our sun at the moment is burning hydrogen as its fuel. And it burns the hydrogen, converts it by nuclear fusion into helium. And it's burning it at the rate of around about 5 million tonnes every second. But eventually that hydrogen will be used up. And in about 4 billion years time, um, the hydrogen will be depleted. The core of the sun will start to collapse. And as it collapses, it will become hotter. And it will start to convert in the helium into carbon. But at the same time, it makes the atmosphere of the sun much more unstable. The sun will puff up into a large ball we call a red giant. This red giant we expect will be large enough that it will completely encompass the orbits of at least Mercury and Venus, possibly even swallow up the Earth as well. Even if it doesn't swallow up the Earth and completely vaporize it, it will at least totally scorch the surface of the Earth and make life on Earth impossible. My own feeling is that actually the biggest danger to our own survival on this planet uh, is our own behaviour and whether we look after it properly. And I think the risks are such that there's a significant uh, danger that uh, modern civilization will actually come to an end in a few hundred years, never mind a billion years. There are various teachings from the book of Revelation and from some of the early prophets. And the general theme is that there will be what's called a millennium, which is a thousand years of peace and happiness. Then there will be all kinds of horror and bloodshed and uh, death in various forms. After which Michael the Archangel will destroy Satan and then there will be everlasting light, happiness and peace. In the Quran it tells us that the mountains will, will just fade away um, and things which are natural to us today will just disappear. We are going to be uh, hoarded together as human beings and uh, that we will be paraded in front of uh, everybody. Anything we did in the night or behind closed doors will be exposed on the day of resurrection. Nothing will be hidden. Nothing will be hidden at all. Everything we have said, everything we have done, every, everything will be exposed on the day of resurrection. If we look in the five books of Moses, we don't find a direct reference to the end of days. 
I find certainly in my own community there's a very big fear about where we're going as, as a society and if you pose the question to people do we live in a utopian society invariably the answer is no the question is what then what are your beliefs so obviously the Jewish belief is that there will come a, a better time when there will be peace on earth people have a greater recognition of God uh, greater respect for one another and that is the messianic era as envisioned in the prophets in Judaism most of the prophecies of an ending of the world were what I would call tracts for hard times. When the people to whom that prophecy was addressed were undergoing a bad time, if they'd been occupied by an enemy force, then they tended to look for, they tended to look for something better at the end of it. And uh, said, uh, my view is that these teachings about the end of the world were to comfort and encourage persecuted religious groups who wanted something to look forward to. <laughs> And behold, a pale horse, his name that sat on him was death, and hell followed with him. <laughs> 